Hello and welcome back to the Tech Unravel. Today I want to do a very quick video about how to install Fall Guys on the Steam Deck. With the recent release of the ROG Ally and being able to play a lot more games on this device than on the Steam Deck because of the windows that it's present on this console, I still get a lot of questions about how to install Fall Guys on the Steam Deck. This isn't currently working because of the anti-cheat software that is installed on the Steam Deck, but now we finally have a functional workaround which is pretty easy to do and I'll quickly go and show you how to do this for your Steam Deck and you will be able to play Fall Guys on it. So first thing first we need to go to the desktop mode and I have over here a keyboard and a mouse which will easy up the process a bit but you don't need that, you can still use the trackpad for the Steam Deck. The desktop mode. Alright, once we are in the desktop mode, first thing we have to check is if in the library you do have the Proton Experimental already installed. So if you search for Proton, you see over here that I already have it installed, but I can also do a quick update for it. If this isn't present for you, just simply hit install and you should be fine. The next thing you have to do is make sure to have Heroic Launcher installed, which is actually the Epic Game Launcher that it is present here for the Steam OS. I have made a video about it, I will not go to too many details about this launcher, but if you search for it in the Discover mode, you will see this icon, it's very easy to install, check out my other videos. Once we install Heroic Launcher, make sure to connect to your Epic account, and I already made this, then this is my current library, then we look for Fall Guys in the library, and once you're here, you can simply hit install. And before you hit install again, make sure you have the Proton Experimental selected over here. Okay, now that the game is installed, before we hit play, make sure to click on this settings icon over here. Make sure to have Proton Experimental selected as before. And if you scroll down, first thing first, we need to click on the easy anti-cheat runtime and expand the other hit this folder icon over here and then we need to go to the executable of Fall Guys. So in order to do that we go to Home, then Games, then Heroic, Fall Guys and if you scroll down we have runfallguys.exe over here. Now that we have this selected we simply close this. We are asked if we want to enable game mode and we hit yes. And we will hit play now, but it will not work yet, but we need to add a couple of things. So we hit on play now. We are asked if we want to use the experimental proton and we hit yes. And then we have this visual C++ window over here for which we will just enable and hit install. And I think this happens two times. And there you go, the second one, install again, close, and now the game will open. We see here on the Steam Deck screen that we have a warning about missing files, so we simply exit the game. And now there are a couple more things that we have to do. First thing is to click on this three dotted icon over here, and we enable the EOS overlay. And now that this is done, click again on the settings icon, and then we hit run exe on prefix. We are already in the Fall Guys folder and we have this Epic Online Service folder over here. Open it and then double click on this Epic Online executable. This is something that is being done in the background, so it is finished. Then we can close this and we can hit play now again. You see over here on the Steam Deck screen that the online service is being installed in the background. And once this is done, then the Fall Guys will open and we shouldn't see the missing files error anymore. And there you have it, Fall Guys is now installed on the Steam Deck and as you can see we don't have any more errors and we will open a game but before we do that there is still something else that we can do just to make this process even easier. And going back to Heroic Launcher, we need to add this to Steam. So if we go to the three dotted icon over here, we have a Add to Steam button. We simply enable this one and now this game should be part of Steam as a non-Steam application. So now we're pretty much done, we can go back to the gaming mode and let's see if Fall Guys run smoothly without any issues. Okay, now we are back into the gaming mode and if we hit the Steam button over here, then go to library and go all the way back to non-Steam applications, we should be able to see Fall Guys over here. 
and we hit play we will still get this prompt over here every time we open the game but i think that's just a minor thing it's just a visual aspect so we shouldn't be worried about that and as you can see the game opens fine and let's go ahead and play a quick game just to make sure that everything works smoothly let's start a new game and as you can see mass selection works fine and there we have it we are finally inside the game matchmaking works fine the game is really stable so it works as it should no issues over here i know this is a question that a lot of you have been asking about this game it doesn't work straight away because of the anti-cheat software but this is just a minor thing that you have to do in order to make this functional i don't think this is a really big issue and i'm out in the first round because i cannot play and uh, speak in the same time as i said the game is functional no issues over here it's very stable pretty easy to do as you can see just a couple of small things when you do the installation of the game but after that the game just works it's here on the steam deck you don't have to use windows or anything else and if we close the game you will see that now it is part of the library so it just works as it should no issues pretty easy to do so i really hope that this helps you out finally installing fall guys on your steam deck Please let me know down in the comments if you have any questions and I'll make sure to help you out with installing this game. That's it for this video. This is the Tech Unravel and I'll catch you in the next video.